A quick rundown on my process for getting this polish. I have my bristle disc assortment from 3M and an assortment of different sandpaper. Also, I use a red rouge cloth that has two different sides. Even when wire is new from the mill, if you notice, it'll have small micro lines, and I like to polish out any of that, sometimes before it's tied into the piece. I want to have a really nice mirror polish on this piece. When trying to get a flat polish, I'll lay down a cloth and then set my sandpaper on top of that. It seems to sand more into the edges than it does when it's just laid flat on the table. Also, it makes it so it's not quite so loud. So after working on 800 grit sandpaper for quite a while, I'm going to switch over to 1000 grit and pre-polish even some of the components that I add into the piece. Let's fast forward through some of this. So now that we got that polished up, I went ahead and attached it and set my first stone, get it tied together, and then now we can start to do a lot more of the filler work and get the other stones put in there. And then I cover my stones with paper where I can squeeze it in between the wire and stickers to kind of hold it all together. Every piece is a little bit different but a combination of stickers and paper to cover it. These are the bristle discs that I use. And so I only ever really use the 220, the 400, the pumice, and the one micron. I don't really use the six micron. I don't use the 120 grit. I'm starting with a 220 grit bristle disc. This will take out any of the deeper marks and really smooth the whole piece out. You want to cover your stones to make sure that you don't have any accidental slips or anything that will compromise the stones in any way. Even if I think I'm not even going to be close to the stones when polishing, I will still cover the stones. It's amazing how easily bristle discs can grip onto the piece when spinning, roll right around the edge of the piece and onto the stones. Fast forwarding. I polish onto the back side, especially around the edges, to make sure there's not going to be anything that's going to be too rough against the wearer. You don't want to spend too much time on it, just a very light brushing. I'm always moving the bristle discs. Very rarely will I stay too long in one spot. The bristle discs will dig your grooves into the piece if you sit for too long in one spot. So just always a constant motion back and forth. We're going to speed this video up. Being very precise, getting down into the cracks. You want to try to be as precise as possible with this because if you spend too much time directly on a thinner wire, it will grind through some of the smaller wire. And obviously I'm fast forwarding. So I give my whole pieces just kind of a quick go over. And so now I'm going to switch up to the 400 grit blue discs, and then we're going to finish off with a pumice disc and onto the one micron disc with a final quick polish with a rouge cloth on both sides. And of course, washing the piece with soap, water, and a toothbrush. So here's the piece after it's all finished. You can see there's little tiny micro scratches kind of all over. If you want to get real OCD about it, you can spend a lot of time really trying to get the perfect polish. But the sunlight is really bringing out anything like this. Indoors, it'll just be straight up shiny. 